Okay. I put it in an ant pile. That's no fun. <laughs> hey, I'm Seth with Land of House. Thank you for joining in on this micro hydro installation here. Uh, I'm here with my friend and neighbor, yep. Homestead on the Mountain, and we are getting the wire run from the turbine up to his house. I have looked on Google Earth and it's somewhere around 400 feet. So we've got two sections of 250 uh, 10 2 wire. Yep. Uh, so we're going to be hopefully finding the right path down to the turbine, which will cross through here and go up to his house, which is up this way. So we're going to see the best way to first stand in an ant pile yeah. <laughs> and then get this wire run. So I've convinced him to walk backwards with this roll of wire. <laughs> down a mountain. Down backwards on a mountain that is actually quite steep. With We're not a, even trying to do a comedy show. With a roll of wire that weighs as much as I do. <laughs> hey, you still have something to hang on to as I go. The wire? Yeah. <laughs> do a rappelling down. And, uh, it'll be ran. All right, this little white blip you see in the middle of the screen right here. Is yeah, not this white blip, that white blip. Uh, that's where we're going. So we actually hit it uh, pretty dead on in a direction. Let's see how our placement was with our roll of wire here. <laughs> you couldn't ask for much better than that. <laughs> All right, nice. Bam. Now that we have the wire run down here to the turbine, we're going to strip this back a little bit and then connect the three phase wires here to this wire using some wire nuts. Okay, this is a very temporary wiring here. We'll probably put that in a box later when we have things uh, locked down where we want them. And then the wire is just gonna come up here and head on up to the house. It's been two days. We actually got the wire to this point right here and a huge thunderstorm hit and so we have uh, come back out here a couple days later he's already got his wire run from where we ended before up to the house and we'll go show you that portion right now so here's his electronics setup here he's got a uh, power inverter right here what's your uh, wattage on that guy it's a uh, 5,000 5,000 yeah. and then he's got the uh, Renogy charge controller up here and you can see the in uh, the rectifiers right here bringing the power in from the turbine and uh what are we charging at up there right now it's at 27 volts 27.5 and 0.3 amps okay uh, and batteries are at 25 one and then he's got his lithium-ion batteries up here at the very top yep. which are the spi <laughs> so at 0.3 amps and around 27 volts, it ran all night and uh, charged a little bit. So Spencer Langston is going to be updating our turbine so that the stator is able to pull in more like 60 volts instead of this 20. And that will really improve our results here. But um, we'll do that update once that uh, stator has arrived. For now, this is going to conclude the video on how the electronics are run. And whenever we have a better voltage down at the turbine, we'll come back and update you on the actual setup here to show how it is charging batteries and uh, how things are running from rectifier to charge controller, inverter, all that good stuff. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.